Hello guys, this is Becca, and I am here to do a, uh, let's see, what would I call it, prompts, glue book, collab, I think is what it's called. My sister, Hobby Doc Bay, is the one that come up with an idea. It is an open collab, which means anybody can participate whenever you want to participate. You don't have to, you know, do it at a certain time or uh, you don't have to do a certain amount. Or You can just jump in whenever you want to and join in to, in, to the collab. <clears throat> the only thing we ask is that you put Hashtag prompts glue book collab whenever you post your video on it, and that way anybody that would like to go and see what it's about can just click on the hashtag and it would take them to all the videos that has participated in that collab. So, this here is my special glue book that I made just for the prompts collab and um it's just an old uh close to my heart uh it's kind of like the smash books i can't remember the matter of fact it may have it in the back crush book it's an uh they called it a crush book so um Anyway, this is the front. It, it was all just like the back, but I just took some pictures, some um, cutouts, what do you call it, die cuts of flowers and glued it on there. And then I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but I put dots of um, liquid crystal, crystal liquid, whatever it's called from close to my heart to make it look like uh, the shiny jar here. And then it looks like like there's water droplets all over the front of it and on the flowers and different water droplets. So that's what I did with the front of my book. And then I just took some cutouts and uh, glued them on the inside cover just for some pretty decorations. This here is my title page. Welcome to my life was already there. And these, this bird here and this bird here was already sketched in. The rest was just this blue-green color, greenish, teal green, whatever you want to call that color. Uh, and so I took some uh, letters out of a magazine, just cut out the letters that I needed, and I put prompts, glue book, glue book. It should have been one word now that I think about it, but it's prompts glue book. And then I had this uh, these die cuts of best ever, and I glued that there. This here is just a little card that I had that says, The sun stretched out and touched our cheeks. And I thought that was a pretty saying, so I glued that down there. And then I wrote in here, year 2022. So this here is my... Um, title page to my prompts glue book and this glue book will only be made um, only be used for these prompts uh, pages that I'm doing now the pages are pretty but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover them up um, because all right, to start out, now, I just listened to Hobby Doc Bay's um, video telling about the prompts collab. Excuse me, guys, I keep yawning. Y'all know how I yawn whenever I'm on video. Still don't know why I do that. But anyway, uh... Hold on a minute. This, the weather scanner's going off. I'll be right back. Okay, the video I was watching that Hobby Doc Bay put up telling about the uh, prompts collab, 
she said for us to write the prompts down that we were given. Uh, actually, this is the prompts I gave her. Oh, did I, I haven't wrote the prompts down she gave me yet. I will have to do that. Okay, this here, she said first, well, she told me to keep up with my prompts. Her and I are doing this collab. Let me, let me get my <laughs> thoughts straight here. Her and I are doing this collab, and we're going to do it twice a month, every two weeks. Her and I both have health issues. Uh, we have, you know, different things going on, and we both get uh, stressed out if we have too much going on that we have like a deadline for or anything. It just really stresses us out. So we're gonna, we're not gonna promise to do it. I mean, I'm not. I, you know, I'm not gonna absolutely promise that it will, I will be doing it twice a month, every month. But that's why it's an open collab where you can jump in when you want to. But our goal together, uh, Hobby.Bay and myself together, our goal is to do it twice a month, give each other prompts to do a glue page with, and then um, this here, she told me, said, write down the prompts you give me so you won't re-give me the same prompts. So that's what this is. But what I was saying is in the video that I watched, that she put up showing, uh, you know, telling about the collab. Um, she said to write down um, the prompts for this page, whatever page you're doing, whoever gave you the prompts, write down the prompts they gave you and put it on the page. So I will have to do that. Um, I don't have them wrote down. I have them where she sent me the text with the prompts on it but I don't have them wrote down yet so I will have to do that but right now I'm going to go ahead and do the page and then later I will write the prompts down and put them on the page and then take a picture of it and put it at the end of this video but the prompts that she gave me was and if I can remember them all something that blows in the wind animals See if I can, something that blows in the wind, an animal, uh, time, trash, and either thread or fabric. It's five prompts is what you do. Uh, you get your partner and uh, you give them five prompts and they give you five prompts and you make a glue page using those items <laughs> of prompts and she told me when she gave me the prompt of trash she said actual trash not a picture of trash so that's actually the only item that she specified that it couldn't be a picture but in these collabs it doesn't have to be just magazine pictures it can be the actual thing like she said actual trash um it could be, um, you know, like when she said fabric, you use actual fabric. You don't, it's not necessarily a picture in a magazine of fabric. It, so it's more things besides uh, the magazine pages, but it also includes the magazine pages. Or, unless your partners that you get to, to do the prompt with, unless they specify that it's the actual thing and not a picture, then if you find a picture in the magazine of that item, you can use the picture of that mag that item that you found in the magazine. So I hope I am explaining this to you. Between me yawning, the interruption of the scanner, um, we're kind of under a little severe weather right now. Um, Actually, it's not even raining here, but you know how the scanners do and all that. And and uh, it's a set area, and it's kind of like a couple of counties over from us. At this point, uh, we have been under some tornado watches. Not warnings, but watches. And so that's why the scanner came on. But I'm going to go ahead 
and get into doing my page. I'm going to put it on this first page and that won't turn. I was going to say I was going to fold that back, but it won't. Okay, so the first prompt is something that blows in the wind. So what I did was I chose this uh, magazine page to be my background and leaves from the trees, from the grass, from the flowers hanging, all of that blows in the wind. So what I'm going to do is put this down as my background page and then I'm going to trim it up to fit. And I need to grab my book that I put up under here to keep the glue from getting everywhere else. And I've already got it, look at there, on my cover. Let me grab my... I wish, I always forget to put my book under there until I've gotten glue everywhere. Okay, now let's see if I can get it. Guys, I'm sorry that I'm not real consistent with videos. Like I said, I have health issues. Uh, I have other things going on in life that <laughs> that keeps me pretty occupied. And uh, I just have to come on here when I can to do these uh, videos. Now, I do craft when I'm not on video, but it's usually interrupted crafting. Like, I may sit down and if it's a color page, I may color a few strokes and have to jump up and... Go do something. It's just, um, it's just the way my life is. So that's why, I, that's another reason that I don't do a whole lot of videos is because I'm usually interrupted pretty, pretty much. Uh, and this week, my hubby's going to be home. He's, this is his vacation week. <sighs> and I just don't know what I'm going to do. He's probably going to, you know, he'll be in and out quite a bit. And I may have to, if I do any videos this week, I may have to just go with the flow of the interruptions and just jump in there and do a video anyway. Um, I actually use two scrapbook, which if you are a subscriber that's been with me a long time, you know that. Uh, but I used to scrapbook, and then uh, I became my mother's caregiver, and uh, between that and dogs and hubby and my health issues and everything that goes on around here, it just got too overwhelming because I'm the type of scrapbooker that... I have to concentrate. I have to, I'm not real uh, talented, I, I guess is the word you might want to use there. Or creative, creative maybe is the word. To, you know, I'm just not a real creative person. And when I would come up with an idea for my um, scrapbook page, how I wanted it, get started scrapbooking then if I got interrupted and had to go um, you know stop what I was doing and go do something else by the time I come back I forgot the idea I had in mind to do and would have to rethink it out and see what it was I wanted to do or come up with it most time it was a different plan because couldn't remember what I had in mind to do and and it was just it got too overwhelming I just couldn't handle it uh, it was just too much, and so I quit scrapbooking. This is something that I can, don't quite take as much time. It doesn't take quite as much thinking or planning, um, especially if you've already given prompts. Now, uh, I can do a page pretty fast when I'm given prompts, but when I have to come up with my own ideas, it's hard. I, I can't. I just can't come up with the ideas myself. So, it's, I'm just crazy like that. <laughs> so, that's why I went to 
more simpler things in crafting. But anyway, the next prompt was, I think it was animal, an animal, and then it was trash. Let's see. Something that blows in the wind, animal, trash. Oh my goodness, I've done forgot the other. Um... What was the other? Something that blows in the wind. Animal. Trash. Oh, time. Time, 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 time. I had it covered up. Didn't see it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... When she said trash, I dug... You know, she said to actually let it be trash. Um... Uh, it couldn't be a picture of trash. So I dug in my trash can and pulled out an old receipt that I had thrown away. And it was all crinkled up. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do here is maybe take a little piece of it, crinkle it up, and we're going to throw some trash on the ground down here. Like someone has thrown away trash. That one needs to be a little smaller. Right here. And we're just going to do it like that. And we're going to use just old-fashioned Elmer school glue to glue it on. Now, this is going to put some dimension on your page when you use actual items other than, you know. So, whatever glue book you use, you need to make sure it's something you don't mind, that it has a lot of bulk. Probably when I get through with this book, it's probably not going to close like it normally would. It's probably going to be open um, because of the bulk, and that's fine with me. Okay, time. Um... I know animals was the second prompt, but I need to get these placed before I do the other. So for time, I'm using a watch. And then for animals, I'm using this lady here. She is dressed. She's, she's dressed in kind of like a ball gown, princess type dress, but she has her boots on. Her country cowboy boots. But she has, even though she's a country girl, she has her boots on. She's in her ball dress, but she has her little calf with her and a chicken. So that's going to be the animals. And she has a bicycle. And we're talking time here. So I am going to stand her... I may have to cut this little edge right here so I can scoot her over far enough. I want her like she's standing here on the sidewalk, but I want those words covered. Of things, um, I don't know what I'm going to put as the word up there. I meant to look for that. I may put the letters all of all things that's that's probably what i'm gonna do all right let me grab my glue book i'm going to no nope, not the liquid glue i'm going to use the glue stick <clears throat> this is actually a really fun collab it's kind of Similar to swapping glue, except for that you don't actually have to uh, send anybody anything. Uh, you're actually just telling them what to put on their page. And they look for it in their stash themselves. So that way you don't have to send out mail. Um, but yet, 
you're collabing with someone and uh, doing a page with them. So that makes it fun in an economical type way. I want those words covered up. So you're still having your fun in an economical type way. You're not having to worry about um, sending items out. And for people that doesn't have a lot of money, that struggles to even get money to you know for stamps, for postage. This makes it easier that they can um, participate in a collab as well. Using their own items. So what I'm going to do, let's see. I had it fixed a while ago. What happened? I don't want it covering those words up there. There we go. That's the way I had it. All right. Now, there's the time. Okay, so far we have something blowing in the wind. Animals, time, trash. So that's one, two, three, four. The fifth one is either, uh, you can use either, think Becky, think. Um, oh, sorry, I hit the camera. You can use either thread or fabric is what I'm trying to say. I looked, and the only piece of fabric that I have at all in my stash that could be cut and used was a blue jean patch. And I really didn't want to use that on this page. So I decided to go with thread and maybe... Maybe some ribbon. We're going to see. I pulled out this ribbon here, which is a lace trim. I pulled out this gold strip of ribbon that has, uh, looks like berries, red limbs and red berries is what it looks like. And then I pulled out this wide ribbon that has cows on it, but... I'm thinking I'm running out of space. That's going to be too big. I can't use that. But to go ahead and get the prompt on there, first off, I'm going to take this thread. And then if I see I can use the ribbon, I will add it. But right now, I'm taking this thread and I'm just rolling a bunch of thread around my finger. Taking my little thread scissors that was gifted me by Mary Johnson. Thank you, Mary. I love them. I use them only for little I little things like thread and stuff like that. Now, I've got my thread that I wrapped around my fingers. Now, to make it smaller, I'm just going to fold it in half. And I think I'm going to maybe, let's see, um, where can I lift up? Okay, that's not glued down real good there. I think I'm just going to simply glue that behind her head just for some texture. Just for some look, if you've ever scrapbooked, you know how you just, you'll tuck in thread here and there and yonder just for looks, just for texture. And that's what I'm doing here. And now because that is liquid glue, I'm going to take my towel and I'm just going to press down to get that like I want it. But yet if the glue comes out, it will go on the towel. go all right so now that's just some texture behind her head there and I'm actually thinking I'm going to since this uh oh I pulled it out didn't I I want to make sure that's up under there it's not dry yet so it pulled out okay I'm going to cut this these loops just so it would be a bunch of strings hanging. And this could also be something that blows in the wind. Just for texture up there. Just something cool. 
Ah, oh, there we go. And it might be something coming off of her crown. You don't know. There we go. So, we have something that blows in the wind. Animals. Time. Trash. And either fabric or thread. So, there's my thread. Now, since I have all the prompts here already on here, I'm going to check this out and see if there's somewhere I might could add... If that wasn't quite as wide, I was thinking I might add that as her belt. Let's see. Let's just see what we can come up with here. All right, it would need to be tucked behind. Let's cut it a little bit more. Cut on this side. Make it a little smaller. I want it to kind of be like her belt. So now it's got to go under the chicken or look like it's going under the chicken. So let's make a mark there. If I can hang on to this. Okay, let's put that right there. Now I'm going to add... The liquid glue so it will stick. And that's going to be like it's her shiny belt. Okay, where's my... Alright. Now, that's that ribbon. Now, let's see. Um, is there anywhere this could go? Not really, huh? Not where I put the trash. Um, nah. I think that's going to be enough because it's going to cover up too much if I add any of this ribbon. So... Here is my page. It is uh, the Prompts Glue Book Collab uh, created by Hobby Doc Bay. And um, it is an open collab, so that means anybody that wants to participate, you are more than welcome. You have no set time to do it, no set amount of do it, to do it. You can do one every week, one every day. You can do once a month. You can do every two months. However you want to do it. The only requirement is to put hashtag prompts glue book collab on your post so we can all find your post, your uh, pages, your videos to see what you have done. And... Um, also, it would be great if you would mention, you know, when you do your video, mention that Hobby Doc Bay created or started this collab and um, ask everyone to go check her out. And, um, you know, it'd be nice also for you to ask them to go check out the par your partner, whoever you're collabing, you know, with. So, um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and write the date. And I'm thinking today is, uh -huh, I don't know, I have to look at my, it's the 9th. This is Sunday, January the 9th. So I'm putting 1, 9, 22. And I'm not going to write, um, well, I'm going to put uh, Hobby Doc Bay. And that is because I may collab with someone else, although it will be the same collab and go in the, to the go in this book. I may swap prompts with someone else, and when I do, then I will do a page with the prompts they gave me, and then I will put their name on that particular page. But I'm, I'm not going to actually write on here. Uh, the hashtag because now I may on this first one just to show you what I'm talking about 
but on your prompt, on your videos, whenever you upload them, put hashtag prompts, all lowercase letter, glue book, and I got my trash in the way here, but you will have collab. So you're going to put hashtag P-R-O-M-P-T-S G-L-U-E-B-O-O-K C-O-L-L-A-B And that's going to be the hashtag that you will put on your videos when you upload your video. So, but I won't put the hashtag on every page because this book is strictly for the prompts glue book collab. So, um, I'll just put the date and the name of the person that I swapped uh, prompts with. Also, I would like to say that if any of you would like to do this collab with me, and all we would do is uh, message back, whether it's a text or through Facebook Messenger or even... Um, I, I start saying the comments, but that... That wouldn't work. It would email my email address. Sorry, guys. I hope you can hear me. The scanner went off again. But uh, email me. I, my email address is always in the description. So some way that we could uh, even like um, DM me through Instagram if we're Instagram friends or whatever. But we will give like I will give you five prompts to use. I won't give you the items. I will just tell you five prompts to use. You will tell me five prompts to use. We will find those items in our own um, stash of magazine pages or whatever, you know, whatever we have. Um, try to be easy on your prompts because not everybody has maybe the same things you have. Uh, that's another thing. If you happen to give a prompt to your partner and they don't have that item, uh, feel free to let them know, oh, I don't have that item. Can you give me a different prompt in the place of that item? Uh, because we want it to be something that's fun, something enjoyable, uh, something that's not going to stress us out. It's not a time set. Now, if you and your partner want to set a time between the two of you, that's fine. But as far as the collab itself, you know, it's just between the partners if they want to do it in a certain time frame. Like uh, Shay and I, which is Hobby Doc Bay, uh, we decided that we was going to try to do it every two weeks. And so, we had two weeks to come up. We can put it up any time in that two weeks. But we have two weeks to come up with our prompts, that uh, the items for our prompts, and to get the page made and video put up. So, um, whatever you feel, I hope I've made sense. Uh, I'm trying to talk over all these interruptions. I'm sorry. I, I hope I've really made sense to you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below or email me, however you want to do it. And um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's not too long. Let me see. It's already 33 minutes long. Sorry, guys. But anyway, I'm going to get off of here. Um, I would love to do a um, prompts collab page with you if you would like to. So um, get with me if you'd like to do that with me. Or if you have someone else you would like to do it with, feel free to do it with whoever you want to do it with. And I'll just add the hashtag. All right, thank you guys. I'm going to get off of here. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And I will talk with you later. Bye.